nonprofit organization I started 36 months ago um, today in my mind did not even know um, a little bit about today's event I thought um, on the 36th month anniversary of my son's passing instead of going to a graveyard saying my prayers and walking away and seeing my son in the ground that we would do an event that would bring mental health and wellness that would talk about the importance of suicide prevention and um, resources and support that are available so with that being said i want to thank you so very much for coming we as an advisory board as a team So with that being said, I want to introduce our MC of ceremonies today, and we'll have um, a couple of uh, events as we go through the program today. Feel free to get comfortable, meet the people next to you, and by all means, I'm going to pass over the mic to my YouTube friend, <laughs> my brother, his name is Khalid Maxi, and he's going to join us as MC. Khalid. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. And I'm not the little brother, I'm the newer brother. <laughs> As my sister stated, uh, three years ago, uh, today, was a uh, extremely, extremely heavy day for our family. Um, extremely heavy day for the world, I feel. Um, we were in the middle of a pandemic. Um, everything was going on. And we lost one of the most precious things that we have ever grown to know. Um, and I'm so proud of my sister because out of that darkness, um, this light shines. Um, I do want to thank all of the people who are involved, all the people um, who have spent their time to uh, make this happen um, because his voice, his, his walk is not lost, you know. We want him to continue to live on, and um, we want to continue to live in his spirit, uh, which is a giving spirit, which is a lovely spirit, um, which is something that you know can't be replaced, but we want to make sure that we keep that same kind of energy um, when we do things and we walk our walk. Please support our home. You know, without us, we won't have each other. So. We start here, it starts at the ground, um, and we build each other up. So thank all the vendors who come out um, to help put this on. Um, it's going to be a great, great time. So first and foremost, um, I want to actually uh, bring up a, a young man. Where you at? Come on up, bro. Y'all both special. Come on, man. Back up there, bro. No, no, no. Come on. Come on, Trey. <laughs> you got the shirt on. I don't have a shirt on, so I'm going to make this a, a group effort. Um, we wanted to give some shoes to a young man who uh, who has, you know, struggled with mental health, has struggled, you know, um, and um, he's now about to graduate, correct? So without further ado, I'm gonna let Rafia yeah. do the particulars. Well, thank you, Khalid. A <laughs> uh, little backstory on DeAndre Whitaker. Um, he is not aware of why he's here. So that's why he is <laughs> uh, DeAndre was nominated by Amadi's house. And um, in an effort to bring awareness about suicide prevention and, of course, mental health. We were delighted to have him as one of our first persons to actually launch 
the Soul Survivors of Chicago Walking Purpose Project. And let me tell you a few things about this. Those shoes right there and over here in the corner are donated from persons uh, who have lost someone by way of suicide or trauma. Some of those shoes are brand new. Some are lightly used. And our Walk and Purpose project is this. Two weeks after I lost my son, I thought to myself, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And I saw his shoe on the floor, and I thought to myself, wouldn't it be great if I could donate my son's shoe, get it clean and sanitized, put his name in it, with the understanding that you will be walking in purpose? DeAndre, I will not see my son graduate from college like you will do. Amen. I will Amen. not see him be able to get a job like you will. I will not be able to see him get married or enjoy a nice event with somebody special, but you will. Yes, that's right. And I hope you start to look at your shoe on and listen to me carefully, that when you put it on, you remember that you're walking in the shoe of someone whose legacy was cut short, and so walk in purpose. Every time you put that shoe on, I want you to remember the story behind the shoe, which is in the box, and that person and my hope is that I will not know the day you put them on and what day you choose. But every day in my spirit, I will think about that shoe and know that you're walking in it and my son's legacy can continue on. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. 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 So with that being said, I would like to uh, give you a little piece of your shoes. Your mom picked these out of all the shoes we have. And we were fortunate enough to also get a donation of a smartwatch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Next, we have a dance performance by Ahmad. Yeah. When that pharaoh chariot comes, I'm gonna leave you. I'm bound for the promised land. I'm gonna leave you. I'm sorry I'm gonna leave you Farewell, oh farewell But I'll meet you in the morning Farewell, oh farewell I'll meet you in the morning I'm bound for the promised land On the other side of Jordan Bound for the promised land I'm sorry I'm gonna leave you Farewell, oh farewell, but I'll meet you in the morning. Farewell, oh farewell, oh, I'll meet you in the morning. Farewell, oh farewell, oh, I'll meet you in the morning. We have a reading of the proclamation office by Amir Berkeley. Whereas mental health challenges are one of the most common health conditions in Illinois, 
affecting both the person experiencing mental health challenges and those persons who care for and love the person facing the challenge. And whereas among adults in Illinois who reported experiencing symptoms of anxiety or depressive disorder, 32.4% reported needing counseling or therapy but not receiving it in the past four weeks compared to the United States average of 28.2%. And whereas with effective treatment, those individuals with mental health conditions can recover and lead full productive lives. And whereas the Walking Purpose Project seeks to assist our community where everyone feels comfortable reaching out for the support they need through the symbolic gifting of our lost loved one shoe. And whereas the Walking Purpose access to support and ending the stigma of mental health and strengthen suicide prevention for those impacted by mental illness, which is of paramount importance. Therefore, I, J.B. Prisker, Governor of the State of Illinois, do hereby proclaim May 27, 2023, as Walking Purpose Day in Illinois to honor Mental Health Awareness Month and enhance public awareness of mental health to help end the state. All right. Yeah. Yes, um, the business name is El Michelle. So what I have here is journals, affirmation coloring books, and gratitude journals. I also do planners, bath and body, candles, and I also have t-shirts and jewelry. And this is all designed, handmade, or both designed and handmade by me. Well, my brand is, is candles, of course, um, soy-based candles. Uh, the name of my company is Nonchalant Candles, LLC. And a little bit about my candles. Uh, they hand poured by me. The fragrances are mixed by me. And um, I'm just excited to be here and to, you know, come here and be of service to the community. And just, I'm a small, black-owned business. and. I'm just trying to figure out this business thing for right now. I'm with the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs. We're a state organization. I am happy to be here. I was given the invitation, so I'm happy to be here to represent our organization and help the veterans out and any family members. Okay. And what can veterans um, expect when they come through to your offices or come to the table here to speak with you today? We will let them know we have an array of uh, a lot of benefits are as federal and state for the veterans and also the family members. So we, I'll go over the federal benefits and the state benefits. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much for that information. Is there anything that you would like viewers uh, to know about either your organization or your reason and purpose for being here today? Uh, there's a lot of veterans out there that do not know anything about any benefits. So if I could pass anything along, if you know any veterans, just tell them to get in touch with our organization, Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs, and we will help them out and go through the steps with the different benefits that's out there for them. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time today. So the Southside Strong Coalition is a uh, coalition made up of different providers, community members, both with or without lived experience or with veteran status. Um, and we're all just coming together to really try and, you know, find the resources and get the needs met of our vets and, you know, those who may be struggling with a mental health crisis or challenge. Um, and so we do this through various ways by, you know, offering workshops, we do coffee socials, um, and really just trying to get out there. And we were invited today by Miss Rafia. She's part of our coalition, so she's absolutely one of our members, comes out and represents with us. Um, and, you know, just out here supporting and supporting her doing the great work that she does. TMH Behavioral Services. We specialize in um, mental health and um, services for men and young boys. We were invited um, and our mission at the, um, at the agency is to do a lot of outreach and giving back to the community and um, suicide prevention is something that we specialize in as being clinical counselors and therapists so it is very near and dear to our hearts.
Scott and Lindsay Washington for the last week. They just went on prom, and tomorrow is graduation, right? Okay. So we wanted to know if DeAndre would grace us on the stage one more time. Um, Thank you, Jim. Slap it on up. So, is there any other words or anything that you wanted to, that you want to speak or say and give give you a chance to do, but would love for you to have a time to speak if you want? I truly want to say that I'm feeling really sorry for you. And um, my closest, uh, thank you. Um, I wish your whole family blessings and prayers. Um, whatever I can do, just call me. Call the school, I'll be up. They don't want me. Thank you, everybody, for supporting. Um, uh, thank y'all. You're welcome. Thank you. I don't do it bad. My family is the master of putting people on the spot, so <laughs> trust. I'm um, years and years deep in it. <laughs> Valerie, can you tell us a little bit about DeAndre? DeAndre is a quiet student. Never had a question, no problems. Has found a way to navigate through any of the stem. And I'm so proud of him to be able to come up and stand in it. And be granted the gift of the function mom to walk in his purpose, like when you put those shoes on, you leave in his legacy. You walk in his mouth for him. Everything you do in life, when you wear those shoes or when you have him in mind, you are doing it for him in his spirit. So I can't think of a greater honor for you as you become a man and turn into this awesome, Awesome human being. I'm just really proud of him. If I saw him, I saw his girlfriend. If I saw the girlfriend, I saw him. <laughs> One day, and I'm like, I said, "Where you going?" And I turned around. I said, "What? Well, I, I should know." But she was so way close. But I'm just, I'm extremely proud of him and the students at Inglewood Still, they are, you know, sometimes our schools get a bad rep. They fight all the time. But they don't tell you about all the good stuff. We had students that graduated with associate degrees. Yeah. Oh, they walk the outside world. And so I'm just really, I'm really honored to be here. Um, I've been knowing Maxie for a long time, and the strength that she has had, pushing through the pain. And man, I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. Like, you're so resilient. Just, yes. it has never changed. She has never wavered. She has never changed. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I call her, I find her supporting me. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm here for you. So make sure we get a good round of applause for Ahmad when he comes up one more time to give us another dance experience. Give it up for Ahmad. Save my soul. 
for him to have a powerful, powerful ministry like that, for him to be able to speak stories through movement, y'all give him another round of applause, please. Amon, be here all night, ladies and gentlemen, be here all night. Just helping making the boxes of food over there, and we—I mean, we're just helping around, like helping to get this event set up. Like he said, uh, we're just here to help around uh, with the event, set up boxes of food and like man stations and stuff. And how do you guys feel about being a part of something like this about suicide prevention? Uh, it feels well, you know, um, being able to like support people who go through these like tough times and like people who like sort of like. How do I say? Like, I have family or friends that like have lost due to suicide. You know, it feels like good to provide the aid for them. Awesome. How about you? Uh, I know. I don't know anyone personally that's had a problem with suicide or anything, but I know someone who's had a sibling or relative that's done that, and I think that what they're doing here is really good, and I hope that it really makes a difference in them. And I know that you guys helped out a bit today. Can you tell me about what you did here? Um, we just set up basically the lunches so we bagged sandwiches chips cookies um waters and napkins for the food for everybody to have at the end awesome basically. also when people came in we helped greet them and then we had them sign their names and their email awesome and i heard something about tickets what are you guys doing with that? Uh, yeah they, they did the tickets uh i was at the front kind of just letting everybody would know what to do kind of guiding everybody where to go and also I was helping uh, this young man right here with the lunch and all of that bag and all, putting the, the food in the bag. So, yeah. um, since helping about with this event, one I learned that teen suicide has been like rising in Chicago which is really the reason that I, I felt that I needed to help in this event um, and hearing the story about what happened to her son also hit because he was a teen, black teen in Chicago just like us so I felt it was necessary to raise awareness for the cause. Awesome. Also, also learning that this is a vital thing going on, and like, even though you can try to get the help, that still might not be enough, and you just want to help out as much as you can, basically. To piggyback off Mr. Duncan, um, I feel like it's a big problem, and I don't think that it should be a problem, so I feel like things like this can bring people together and kind of tackle it and change things, you know. Awesome. So basically I restated the proclamation for everyone to hear and um, know what it consists of. And what was it about? It was about mental health and um, making like a day based around mental health and shedding a light on it. I think that the work they're doing is really, really important. I feel like um, mental health and suicide prevention um, needs to have a light shed on it and that no one should feel ashamed to need help and to seek help, and that's why. Um, we help make some of the sandwiches and, yeah, and just help people if they need help with. And what else? We help put up the candles and stuff, yeah. like the surrounding stuff. Yeah. So how did you guys feel being able to contribute to something like this today? It, I feel special, like, yeah. this is nice that I could contribute to something like this be it. Good, good. I felt happy and to know that I helped make a difference in people's lives today. Maybe, to, uh, like, if you're in a suicide situation, don't give up on yourself. Ask somebody for help and just, like, just focus, focus on the happiness inside you, not the terrible thought. Thank 
Thank you so much, brother. All right, next can I have Justin Lanier. Is it Lanier? Lanier, Justin Lanier, sorry. Trenton Banks.
so we can um, we can find praise, so we can continue legacy, um, you know, we can keep uh, the spirits. So we've got a few minutes before we close out, but I do want to acknowledge a few other people that are in the room today. First, I want to definitely thank those who heard of us by word on social media, came out and spread the word. So these two ladies, along many ladies, males, females, uh, new members, just a family, the village we talk about, represent some type of loss by way of tragedy or suicide. I want you to take a very good look at these faces because what we endure and what we experience and what we're fighting for is for our children in this village, our community members, our seniors, everyone. Although our losses were cut short, we continue to want to see others thrive because I will tell you this, the feeling of losing a child is terrible. So, I, uh, I take a moment, because I don't want to lose this moment in my memory. I want to imprint it like a sponge for the rest of my life. Because today we all came as a village. And we all came to spread the word and to, to, to support each other in regards to the importance of mental health and wellness. I don't know about you all, but I'm sick and tired of sitting on the menu. I would like to be at the table. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of people telling us how the community should act, walk, talk when it comes to mental health. And at the same time, we have to go to a funeral every week, every other week, and so forth. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of being told how this should work, and we're not at the forefront of being told, telling them how it's working for us. Because see, I wanted my son to be a statistic on the other side of that rainbow, not on this one. Unfortunately, he is. And we represent those mothers and those families that are continuing to strive to put our faces out there, despite what other people are saying. say. I'm gonna speak for them because see, they think they got shy on me. Um, this is Carmella Richardson. Carmella is um, someone I met by way of a tragedy. Myra was her son, Myra was 18, 19, and Myra was tragically killed on Dying Road, found burning in a car. Can you imagine what that feels like when you get a call for something that tragic? So what we're doing is taking our pain on purpose and we're trying to change the name of Daddy Road, just one section maybe, in honor of Myra. So you'll see a lot from Carmella and what she's doing to get that done. She's worked really hard with the police and oftentimes with other people to get this working. So if you know anything that would help, we appreciate it. I met Peaches. <laughs> uh, can you imagine just 30 minutes ago? She came out because she saw me on TV and they were talking about us doing a walk. So I'm outside and she said, y'all walking? Not yet, let's go. Because they did say walk, but it was confusion. This is a walk and purpose project. But see, he just lost her son, I'm just learning. By way of suicide in February of last year. And because she felt compassionate enough to come out, she's got her shirt. And then wanted to walk for her son, not even know what she was walking into it. That takes a lot of courage. So I want to thank you. And you know, the teacher, the teacher, the resources about this topic, we don't want to put it under the rug. We definitely want to advocate and know that it's okay to not be okay, and let's not lose another life behind mental health and wellness and suicide. I thank you so much, you all. Have a good afternoon.